It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden, and this is 5.45 Live. Let's uh, talk for a brief moment here on this midweek report about what's coming up on deck tonight. Uh, inked deal for the union and retreat workers. Lots of budget talks, including Leland and Gray, and uh, uh, downstairs with the Brattleboro Select Board. And there's some hoops to be played up at the high school. We're going to uh, hype prep for all that. Both of those show live on BCTV tonight simultaneously. Uh, in addition to this here 545 Live you're watching right now, we're going to do it in less than 15 minutes, get you to all that action we're talking about. So if you've got the time and the attention span, stick with us right here on 545 Live. Tell me what, what brings you here and tell me what's your favorite part of Santa Fe. So, uh, my name's Aaron Cox and I'm from uh, Connecticut. I'm 39 years old and I have been here 37 years. Welcome back to this December 18th, 2012 edition of 545 Live. I'm Roland Boyd, and you're looking at footage shot at Santa's Land by my uh, often co-captain and 545 Live senior news correspondent Joe Bushy, uh, talking to uh, Aaron Cox. He mentioned he was from Connecticut, the town. In fact, uh, is Newtown, Connecticut. Now, uh, he uh, did have uh, a... An interview on CNN following the tragic shooting that occurred. This, of course, our first live broadcast since that happened uh, last Friday, where uh, 20 first grade students were killed along with six adults uh, in an elementary school uh, in Connecticut. As I'm sure you've heard uh, through the uh, absolute blitz of media covering it, something that's prompted uh, our BCTV reigning experts, or uh, in, in a producer capacity experts, uh, on mental health as part of uh, Monday's live call-in show, Let's Talk About Mental Health, with uh, psychiatrists Robert Stack and Nels Kloster, who break down uh, all the issues surrounding mental health. They talked a little bit about uh, what it means to grieve uh, as a nation from afar uh, in a situation like this, and the impact that media can play on it. Let's take a look. There is, in the media, when something as, as huge as this happens, it doesn't get left alone. It gets brought up day after day, hour after hour. Uh, you know, on, the, on listening to the radio this morning, you, you, I had to turn it off eventually because it was just too much mention of this over and over again. Seeing it on TV, we don't need this constant exposure to it. Uh, we can be traumatized, actually not by uh, events that we've seen or experienced, maybe even events that we've heard about, that people realize that just hearing about this event over and over and over again has a sort of traumatic, uh, uh, traumatizing capacity to it as well. Nels Kloster uh, on the program. Let's talk about mental health last night, talking about the tragedy in Newtown, Connecticut. All right, we'll uh, move on and talk about uh, the Brattleboro retreat. And for that, I'd like to uh, jump into the newsroom. There we go. And uh, talk about uh, the uh, the deal that's been reached at the retreat and now ratified by the members of uh, the the uh, unionized members, workers there. Uh, that was a vote that took place yesterday to ratify the deal over what has become a contentious issue between uh, workers at the retreat and the administration. Uh, we sat down with Tom Flood, who is the president of UNAP, to talk a little bit about uh, this, this deal that's gone through and what it means for the future of uh, the workers of the retreat and uh, the institution itself. Let's take a look. We want to continue to make sure that staffing stays safe. We're having increased census, uh, and with the census we have increased acuity, uh, which makes it really hard when staff becomes smaller and census gets really larger. Uh, so that's, that's still there, and that is a, an issue we will continue to work on. Uh, all, again, although the contract is signed, we, continue, we intend to continue pushing this forward to make sure that uh, people are safe, patients as well as clients. Plenty of uh, budget talks coming up here on BCTV on our Channel 10 uh, municipal coverage, including a live select board meeting that's uh, going on in just a few minutes. Two clicks up the dial on our government and education sister channel, Channel 10, uh, where you can catch a live broadcast uh, of the select board three camera shoot. In fact, I'm going to race these uh, three cameras you're watching me on now. Really, I guess 
just two without a, a co-host here, but we're going to book them all downstairs and get coverage uh, of that show where uh, budgets and uh, tax increases centered around uh, the new $14 million police and fire facility upgrade project uh, has been all the chatter here. Uh, but there's been uh, plenty of tax increase budget talks uh, in surrounding towns as well, including in uh, Leland and Gray. Uh, where at a board meeting held last week, the, the board discussed a possible 3.9% tax increase, uh, which uh, the, the folks of Townsend and several surrounding communities that I'll tuition their students in uh, could see. Let's take a look. Spending minus uh, revenues, we get net spending. You divide that number by uh, the number of students we have that are on line 13 and you get this cost per student. It's uh, this equalized net education cost per student. Uh, 15303 $15,000 per student, a little bit more even. Well, uh, a few more moments here, not even really minutes, but moments to wrap up uh, this midweek report broadcast as we try and keep it short and get to all the uh, live broadcasts that are coming up, including uh, BUHS. Uh, they've got uh, live coverage of basketball. That's coming up. Uh, it'll show two clicks up the dial on Channel 10 opposite the select board, which for a change shows right here on Channel 8. Uh, you'll be able to see... Uh, See, their live coverage coming up as well as we're taking a look at a flashback to last year, but uh, let's, uh, let's get the real scoop here uh, and talk to folks up at the high school where they're preparing to beam in live to us uh, and take a look. So let's see if we can work our magic here, get them up. Uh, Allison Cram is the, the latest hire teacher behind uh, the, the program, BUHS TV, their morning news advisory program. Allison, break it down for us on uh, what's going on here with this program. I think it's going to be a really good game. Um, I think we're going to have a really nice opponent um, playing against Hartford. Game starts at 6.30. Um, we've been asked to all wear black to show our support for our team and come down to the gym and check it out. Very good, Allison. Uh, now we're, we're getting to look here at the, the room. Yeah, there we go. There I do. I'm going to do some switching from there in the high school classroom. Allison, I believe this is your first uh, big live game broadcast, uh, if, I, if I do recall correctly. Yeah, first one. First one. All right. Well, good luck tonight. We uh, sure uh, appreciate all the work. Sounds good. Thanks, Roland. All right. There we go. Live uh, from the high school. It'll be coming up momentarily. Basketball coverage. I'm very excited for that. Now, uh, just a few things to wrap up here before we uh, head on out and enjoy the rest of this weekend. We'll talk a little bit about what's coming up uh, to promote things on BCTV before we uh, race ourselves down uh, into... Uh, taking a look at uh, all the, the select board happenings just down the hall. So uh, let's uh, take a, a quick look if possible at what's, what's new here on BCTV. Let's see if we can uh, get that going here. There we go. Uh, we'll start by talking about uh, the poetry out loud Echo. from the high school. By uh, Come to me in the silence of the night. Come in the speaking silence of a dream. And the latest uh, cooking show on BCTV as well is coming up. Uh, so uh, take a look at that. Uh, Fast Furious and uh, ready to rock. It really is this cooking program. Super fresh recipes. All right, uh, I can uh, tell that people are itching to get these cameras down the hall and get ready for the select board meeting. So I'll take my, uh, my bow, wrap it up here, and say that we'll be back Friday for another live broadcast where we'll sum up all the highlights from this uh, BUHS basketball game we're all looking forward to. In the meantime, I'm Roland Boyden saying uh, goodnight, everybody. Happy holidays from the... Oh, start over. Sorry. <laughs> Patrick's pulling in my ear. Yes, I am.